Yo YouTube man, we are back at Car Dealership Tycoon and today we got a crazy one for you man. We're going to be upgrading my fastest car in this game right now with all the upgrades to it and we're about to see what this car can really do. Hey, other than that, I ain't going to waste too much time. Let's go ahead and get straight into the vid. Yo, alrighty YouTube man. So like I said, we are back in Car Dealership Tycoon to upgrade the fastest car that I have in my garage right now, man. Like I said, we're going straight into this. We got to really see what this car is about to push. As you guys can see, my fastest car right here is the Ross OX R071. This is the car we're going to be upgrading, man. And you already can tell, man, this is about to go crazy. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick quick another look man if you guys remember i did end up adding that gloss effect that gloss uh exterior color on this car um so you guys are about to see right now though with the sun going up you guys there it is man this this gloss is just crazy man i'm not gonna lie with you guys the gloss just gives it a crazy look to the car man but uh this is about to go crazy but let, let before we test this thing out man let's go ahead and go into a drag race really quick Let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to see how fast this car really goes right now. Stock, though, before we add any upgrades, that way we can really see the difference in it. Obviously, we already know, man, this car is about to go crazy. And, and I mean, sh bro, this is going to be insane. Like, I cannot wait to upgrade this car. I've been wanting to do it for a while ever since I bought it and stuff. But, man, we we're really about to see what's up, man. I'm out of there, though, man. I'm out of there. I'm sorry, man. I had to leave you a little bit there. But let's go ahead and finish this race off really quick, man. We are finishing at, like, what, 270, 267, man. 9.8, all right? Oh, we got to remember this. We got to remember this, all right? 9.8 seconds, 267.94 for a speed, man. We obviously got $10,000 from that, 10 trophies. It's pretty easy for that. But now we're going to go ahead and do our thing, man. This is where we're really going to test everything out, man. So let me go ahead and step out really quick. And let's go ahead and get into this car. Let's get these upgrades going, man. So as far as the colors, we're going to go ahead and leave it the gloss. We ain't going to touch anything. Um, we are probably going to change the interior, though. You know what? Let me let me, let me me see what that interior looks like. Let me get white in there. Uh, let me see. I don't, I don't know if it's really changing, you know. Let me. Okay, there we go. Let's get a better look at that. Uh, blue. I don't know which one the in, okay so it's showing right here but it won't show there it's kind of weird i would assume that it would would show that you know what let's just go ahead and do like a like a like a kind of like the blue that might match maybe a little nah you know what let's just do a white i guess do a white really quick so let's put there it is okay so we definitely had to just oh my goodness you know what that's actually pretty crazy with the with the white like that you guys can see it right here on my side man all right all right, all right. let me go to the second one this white we're gonna change that there there it is all right we're, we're good with that man the inside is gonna be pretty clean okay wheels uh honestly i say we wait for the wheels because i do want to see if we want to add some different uh wheels to that as you guys can see the stock ones are just like some i don't know there's some interesting ones i mean black would be pretty cool look you guys can see what's gonna change though it's just like those part of the rim. it's basically like the part of the rim right here it's not even like the actual thing so we might end up changing the wheels here first uh calibers i mean you can't really see any calibers on there there's no point in to change that but like i said we'll see if we do decide to change the wheels here but let's focus on getting these upgrades done uh so yeah let's get that first here so as you guys can see we do have a sport upgrade man now once we upgrade from a race upgrade this thing is worth basically four million dollars for this race upgrade that's insane okay but we're going to be doing a top speed of well actually it's going to add 15 more miles per hour to the top speed plus five percent acceleration man so we're going to go ahead and purchase that for 3.9 million basically four million dollars for one upgrade on this car man so we're going to go ahead and hit that race upgrade there um we're gonna go ahead and get into our turbo you can see that dude really just took off with my car that's crazy um but all right man we're gonna go ahead and hit a race turbo as you guys can see though that it did have a turbo upgrade which obviously won't show you anything but a supercharge supercharger will give you an acceleration 15 percent more race turbo is gonna obviously give us 30 percent more to it so we are obviously going to do that for three uh 2.3 million dollars guys let's go ahead and purchase that install that as well 
tires we're gonna go ahead and you already know what's up man we're gonna do the race tire but you guys can obviously see the difference and everything but off-road tire is obviously gonna be for off-road i bet you anything my boy flipped in my car oh my goodness my boy is really liking my car i bet you anything uh and then we got a spike tire which is obviously gonna be good for off-road and ice race tire is obviously gonna be for asphalt which is obviously the thing that we're gonna be on almost all the time on my races and stuff so there's no point into doing the off-road or spike so race tire it is for thirty four thousand. let's go ahead and get the brakes man we're already at sport a race upgrade for brakes is going to give us 30 percent more on the braking man and that is for 1.9 million dollars basically two million dollars right there man so let's go ahead and get that one in as well and then we have a drive train and this is a rear wheel drive all wheel drive i mean usually most of the time all wheel drive is always better to upgrade because it just gives you more power but i honestly if you're doing more drag racing and stuff i think a rear wheel drive is actually better than all wheel but honestly can't take me don't quote me on that one right there man but i i feel like this dude is really just going crazy on my car bro he's about to get spawned spawned out of it watch because i'm about to spawn my car back right now but we're gonna go ahead and just upgrade it to all wheel drive man we're gonna see the difference in that it would be nice to if they would show like what exactly it would help with but i'm pretty sure it helps a little more with the acceleration if i'm not mistaken from other games that i've been playing you know it, it does sh always show that it's it's usually helping with the handling or you know like acceleration or something with it you know i think it's more of the handling though but let's go ahead and just upgrade it man why not seventy seven thousand uh five hundred dollars for an all-wheel drive change so we'll go ahead and install that as well so now my ross hypercar bro my crazy hypercar is fully maxed out with every my boy is going up the wall like that bro what are you doing uh but anyway so we got that going there man now let's go ahead and get into the appearance now this is something that i wanted to look at i mean if i have enough money which obviously i do to upgrade this stuff but we're gonna go ahead and do the wheels let me go ahead and see what a difference is gonna be with them you know like it's it's oh that one's actually not bad that one's actually not bad that one's not bad either i don't really like these these thick looking wheels and stuff dude he's going crazy on the background dude it's so crazy i don't even think i can see it because my webcam's right there in the way but he's literally going up on the on the mountain man let me let me move it so you guys can try to see it go in the background right there but just pay attention if this dude comes up on the on the mountain with my car you guys will see it but anyways let's go ahead uh you know what i think you guys you guys should probably see a song right here but let's see if he goes back up but anyways like i said those these wheels are not too bad I, like i said i don't like using these thick ones because they're they're a little weird they, they look weird uh but we'll go ahead and keep looking dude there's oh my gosh what is up with that no bro these are just uh, like putting these are just ugly this one's like the ugliest one I've seen, honestly. I think the best ones are going to probably be either this one or this one. But honestly, we're going to go ahead and go with this one for $25,000. Uh, springs. Uh, my boy's car is gone. He probably left my car, spawned his car or something, man. But it's all good. My, mine's going to spawn back anyways. Uh, extra low is we're, we're already on it. We're not going to do anything to alignment or anything, man. We're going to leave it the way it is. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go back get into our wheels since now we can actually see a difference we're gonna go ahead and change that let me see what the blue that is some ugly blue i'm not gonna lie with you guys yeah we're gonna go ahead and stick with let's do black we'll do some black man throw in some black in there and then calibers we'll go ahead and change it into we'll do some white calibers man all right so this is gonna be the brand new, as you guys can see man we we're at what 314 315 i think it was a speed i think it was 314 though but speed now is 329 miles per hour handling is at 9.6 all-wheel drive is where we're at 80 dollar reward and three thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars man is what we're at let's go ahead and get this thing straight up to it man let's go ahead and get this this uh this this car into a race man oh my goodness man this car is looking insane all right man we, we gotta do something with it man we gotta do something here all right we're gonna get this drag race we're gonna see how fast we go in it man and honestly we might only have time for a drag race here man because we, we gotta we gotta hop off after this one but hey let's get this drag race let's see how fast we get on this one man like i said i think the one we had before was 9.8 and if i remember i think it was 267 miles per hour we made it so all right man let, let, let's go ahead and see what this 
what this brand new upgraded maxed out hyper car does man all right here we go drag race here we go man let's see what's up let's see what's up yes sir yes sir bro we're already about to hit 200 we're already at 200 oh we almost hit 300 on a speed yo oh my goodness bro we are at 298 for a speed we if we were oh uh, if we just hit it a little faster but we would have hit out maxed out on a 300 speed on a drag race like that's crazy man and then obviously we definitely went from 9.8 to basically a nine but it basically is like a nine flat i mean we're off for like what 43 seconds right there but it's basically nine man like this is crazy like bro i i just don't even know what to tell you guys man you guys still have time though man you guys still have time if you guys want to purchase that bundle it's still in here i like i said i don't think these these uh bundles ever go away though but again i have no idea man like they always add new ones and stuff and you guys can see man i usually own i i basically almost own all of them but uh you know obviously some of them i'm just not gonna buy because it's like why would i buy a couple of these you know these are you know, they're pretty garbage you know but I gotta get myself the crazy cars you know so you already know i got the hyper pack we're probably gonna look into getting the drift cars eventually too man because you already know banjo got to test out some new drift cars man because you already you already know what's up man banjo's the best drifter out here let me know down in the comments though what do you guys think but man like i said man that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it man like i said we finally upgraded our fastest car in car dealership tycoon man in my garage and that is my hyper car ross is it's it's absolutely insane man like this is it, it makes a big difference with these upgrades and now we're starting to go crazy on the drag man but if you guys think you guys can beat me in a drag race let me know down in the comments what do you guys if you guys can man hey and we're gonna have to hook something up and try to get you guys out here to get some races in man but other than that man stay safe stay blessed peace